good morning children today we are going to discuss another topic in the same chapter uh, reproductive health the topic is population explosion and birth control so let us now start with the topic now as you know that population explosion is taking place in our country there are many reasons for population explosion in 2000 the total population of the whole world was about nine uh, was about 2 billion sorry in 1900 the total population was uh, 2 billion now the population in 100 years it was something about 6 billion why this increase has taken place there are many reasons now the most important reason is there is advancement in medical technology now in India also similarly the population growth has taken place at a time of independence the total population of India was only 350 million and which crossed 1 billion mark in May 2000. Now since the population growth is taking place and it is a very serious issue though with the help of RCH we have been able to reduce the population growth still the growth rate is 1.7 with this kind of growth rate in the next 33 years the our population will double now you can think what kind of disadvantage it will cause to our country so that is the reason the government of India is taking a serious note on this and they are planning certain programs in order to curb this population growth now because of infant mortal re reduction in infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate the population has increased you can say because of advancement in medical techniques but we should know uh, we know that there are so many disadvantages of high population as such that is the reason the government is planning to curb the population growth now what can be methods in order to curb the population growth the marriageable couples should know that the advantages of having a smaller family so that is one thing which can the awareness programs can be launched in order to let know the people let the people know the advantages of having a smaller family so the most important step will be to make the people aware about this problem as such then the second thing which can be done is statutory raising the marriageable age group of females to about 18 years and males to about 21 years this can be done in order to family should so that the family should be kept small as such now hum do humare do this is the slogan you must have heard about it and because because of that many people started to have smaller families new policy for the job also includes hum do humare do policy as such by the various states and it is helping in reducing the population growth rate okay now there are many contraceptives which help in reducing the population growth as such now these contraceptives can be grouped into many categories first one is natural or traditional method which we are going to discuss today first natural or traditional method is periodic abstinence second natural or traditional method is withdrawal or coitus interruptus and third natural method is lactational amenorrhea now let us discuss in brief as such periodic abstinence as you know in between 10 to 17th day of the menstrual cycle there are chances that the ovum will be released by the ovary now during this time the sex or the coitus should be avoided because it can it, it can be practiced easily as such and uh, the time during other time period in between 1 to 28th day 
is considered as safe. Now the second method which is called as withdrawal or coitus interruptus. The before the penis releases the semen inside the vagina which is called as insemination the male partner should withdraw the penis with this because the semen will not be deposited in the vagina so naturally the fertilization will not take place so this can be a method now the third thing is lactational amenorrhea it is observed that during the time of intense lactation the ovary do not releases the ovum so during this time it is safer to have intercourse now there are so many advantages of practicing natural method natural contraceptive method let us discuss one by one natural method does not require devices or any kind of medicine in the body there are no side effects as such no cost is involved is morally and culturally acceptable better than not using any other birth control method so there are no side effects there are so many advantages but let us talk about certain dis dis one disadvantage also now though there are so many advantages but still the fertilization can happen the chances of fertilization or you can say the chances of pregnancy are very high in case of natural method now let us talk about home assignment write the various reasons for population explosion in our country one of the reason might be that uh, since our country have a uh, climatic condition which which was suitable earlier for people to migrate and come here and live so that was that can be one of the reason now because of advancement in technology the population growth was very high during initial periods 60s 70s and 80s which led to high growth in population because of lack of awareness among poor people that can be one of the reasons so you have to write all the reason state features of an ideal contraceptive method so ideal contraceptive method do not have any side effect very cheap easily available or uh, do not interfere with the sexual desire of a person so these are all ideal method it is already given in ncrt book you can see right short note at advantages and disadvantages of various contraceptive method you have to write only about natural contraceptive method here thank you have a nice day